Alright, welcome back guys. Um, as you can see we've got our eye roughly into place. I've dragged it to the front and rotated it around so that it fits. Um, you'll notice that when I said to make the cylinder for our hole to make it 2mm bigger, that's so when you get your eye roughly in place where you want it. Um, you can select your lens and select the outer polygon ring which we've got selected as a set there called the eye inner polygons and you can just extrude them out to fill any gaps around it and you should have something about like that um, you can take that lens and drop it into our lens box which is somewhere in the head um, um, eye box there so it becomes a child of that, which I'll undo that, that won't actually work because that ball's still active. Uh, if you just hit C, that turns it to a solid object with all its attributes applied. And now we can drop our lens into our eye box and we can minimize that and rename this to um, R2. Um, so that's basically all our model in there, minus these feet bit, which we'll add in when we get back and around to doing the arms and things. Um, now I'm going to create this little shape that comes in down here. Um, I found a better reference image. Um, as you can see, it's basically just a little ball at the back with a sort of cylinder mounted on the front, and there's three of those around it. Which is one there, one there, and one again at the back. Um, you can put all three in. Um, once you've got one done, you've made three of them. Um, so we'll turn this off for a moment so we can see what we're doing. Um, first things first, we'll start with a cylinder. So that's objects primitive cylinder. Um, we'll take the radius of this down to about 40. And height to around about 50, I'd say. That gives us a little shape there. I'm going to put an end cap on this, and for the end cap we'll use a tube. So, objects, primitive tube. Um, drag this up so you can see what we're doing. Um, we want to set the outer radius of this to the same as the other. So it's 40, same as that cylinder there. And for the inner radius we want about 38. And that gives us a nice tube like that. We want to change the height of this whole thing to about uh, 40 sounds like a good number and uh, that won't look too big on there so uh, that's what we're after um, we'll make this editable so hit C on your keyboard and we'll close the polygon hole here at the bottom so structure close polygon hole like so and if we select that polygon we'll make a selection set and we'll just name that to black. We'll actually drag our black material we have made up here onto the tube and onto that there. That's going to form the back of our eye. Um, we'll work on the front part now. Um, we've got a glass lens across it, so we want to close the polygon hole. Um, we want to close it so it's only closing the inner ring, not the inner and outer ring like that, so just from in there. And then we want to select that polygon. And we're going to extrude that about minus 10. Go down like that and we'll make a selection set again. So selection, set selection, um, fill that glass. And you can drag our glass shader we've got there onto it and make a bit of glass later because I don't like the way this one refracts at time. And now we need to move the whole thing so it sits on there. That cylinder was um, 50 in height, so we need this to be at uh, the bottom of this to be at 25 plus half the height of that being 15, no, being 20. So that should be at um, 45 if my maths was right, uh, which luckily it was. Um, 
if we look at the reference image again, to have a sort of novelled look around it, um, we can add that in very easily. We we'll use another cylinder for that. Um, cylinder will change its radius to one and its height to 90, so it's the total height of this here. And from this we need to make an array. If you haven't used the array before, that just creates multiple copies and spins them around the axis. Um, you'll see here, like so. Um, for this we probably want about 30 copies. And the radius is the same as the outer radius around here, which is 40. And we need to set the height of that, the array here. So make sure you're on the model tool. And we need to subtract, or well, add half of that height to this, which is 45. No, it's not. Um, they should have been at point 0.0. Um, We'll try 35, 0, it's down there, um, obviously I've done something funny in my calculations, um, 20 looks to work perfectly. So if you give that a quick render you'll see what we've made, or you will if I turn off that dome there. There we go, we've got a knobbly thing with a glass front and a, another panel in there which will be black when we can see through that. And we just need something to mount it on now and we'll just use a sphere for that. So objects, primitive sphere. And the radius of this we want to probably 60. I should have made this in advance so I knew exactly what I was doing. Um, drag that down. And just want it to sit on there about like that. And that looks perfectly acceptable to me. Um, so we'll grab those three objects there. It's the array, the tube we made, and the cylinder. And we'll make those a child of the sphere. This will leave our rotational axis in the middle of the sphere, meaning if we want to. Um, add Expresso tags later so we can move this around, it'll rotate around the centre of the sphere and move correctly. Uh, we need this on the right axis of course, so that's 90 degrees that way. And we'll move them out and get our dome back visible. Um, so we turn on the dome. Right, but he wants to sit next to this eye box and that sort of gap we've made here. And because we're going into a spherical surface around here, it's never going to look um, properly accurate, which so you can rotate it around a little if you want. Um, undo that, grab the arrow, not the scale handle. And that's rough enough for now. Uh, we want to set back in the head a bit further than that. So we'll set it back to about there. Um, let's move it up and around a little. About to there. And that's about what we're after. You can see this glass texture here does horribly silly things, um, which is why I'm not really a fan of it. Um, so we'll fix all that up later. Um, for now we've got that in place. You can make a copy, you can stick one coming out here, and if you've got a space around the back, you can stick it in around the back as well. Um, so I'll end this tutorial here. That was nice and painless, really. Uh, next time I suppose we'll get on to doing some of the body or whatever else I feel like.